What's good, y'all? Welcome back to another video, man. Hopefully, y'all having a good start of 2023, man. Like I always say, get up, go do what you got to do, go become what you got to become, bro. Don't be afraid. Who cares what other people think? It's your life. It's not theirs. Do what you got to do, man. Be happy. And let's have a good year. So we got my boy, HDP and Waves. Durag fell off. Tie your durag like this. How many of y'all durag fell off while you sleep? You know what I'm saying? You woke up, it's just off. So he basically about to show you how to tie your durag to keep it on. You feel me? My durag never comes off. I got a silky durag. Let's just get into the video. What's man. up, waivers? Welcome to PhD and Waves. Welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to go over how to properly tie your do-rag so it doesn't fall off your head okay. while you're sleeping or while you're playing sports. You don't want your do-rag to fall off because it's just going to ruin your wave pattern and nice. create forks and weak sides. So let's get right into it. All right, waivers, this is going to be a super quick video. All you have to do is just put on the do-rag normally over your head. The only different thing you're gonna so look, it don't matter what do rag you have, bro. You can have a silky, you can have a, uh, I don't know, a freaking velvet do rag. You can have any kind of do rag. All right, you could tie it the same way. To do is you're gonna pull the do rag down right down to your eyebrows, just like that. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab the strings. You're gonna pull them to the back. You're gonna cross them over. But y'all, y'all keep in mind, whenever y'all pulling it back, bro, don't pull it, don't pull it so hard, bro. Cause the moment you take that do-rag off, you're gonna have lines all on your forehead, you feel me? And it's gonna look ugly, all right? So don't pull it back so hard. Cross them over just like that. Keep we don't them flat, do that, just like that. So once you cross them over, you're gonna bring them back to the front and then you're gonna cross over the first one. You're gonna cross over the first one, just like that. And as you can see, I left a little bit of space right here. Leave a little bit of fabric at the bottom while you're crossing over. Then you're gonna grab the other one and you're also gonna cross that over leaving a little space at the bottom. You don't need that much, just leave a little bit of space. And then for tying the back of the knot, you could tie it, you could tie it one of two ways. The first way is you could tie it regularly like this, like that. I don't tie it that way. And then you don't want to just well, look, leave. look, look at this. When you tie it so hard, this is gonna be on your forehead. This whole line right here. It's gonna be on your forehead. This line is gonna be on your forehead. So is that line. So is that line. You feel me? You don't want to tie it so hard. Um, you can tell he has it tied so hard, bro. You can see the line, the outlining right here. It's too hard, bro. You know what I'm saying? We're not trying to get waves on our forehead. We're trying to get waves on our hair, so we're gonna barely tie it on. You feel me? Leave it like that because while you're sleeping, it can easily come undone. So what you wanna do is tie it, and then you could just double knot it. You could just double knot it like that. That way it doesn't come undone while you're sleeping. Uh, it's nice and secure, it's not really gonna come undone. And then the second way that you could do it is unknot it, basically first time you tie it, and I do it again. And then you could tie it again. Just, yep, that's all I do. That's just it. Just like that. That's it. That way, there's no way it can come undone. It's nice and secured. That's but make it. sure you don't make the knot too tight because obviously in the morning, you do want to get it undone so you can take your do rag off. The next thing you want to do is, like I said, in the front right here, you have this little bit of fabric. You just want to flip it over the top just like that pull it just down. flip it over flip this is going to add another layer of protection just so while you're sleeping and your head is moving against the pillow uh this won't come undone Thanks. so just pull that down nice and secured as for the tail you could do anything you want with the tail i made a whole video of different ways you could tie like to, the tail 
I like to flip the tail. Oh, I like to flip it over and tuck it inside. You feel me? I like to flip it over, tuck it inside because if you wrap it up like if you wrap it up like this and then you tuck it in the back, it's just going to make this part much tighter. And then you got to create more lines on your forehead, bro. We don't want that. You feel me? So by you tucking it like this, it's going to create more more and deeper lines, bro. So barely go wrap it around, barely tie the knot. You know what I'm saying? So it don't be so tight. We don't want that line, bro. It's gonna push your edge up all back, yeah, bro. It's just too much. All of your do rags. We're not so trying to do it. make sure to check that out if you do want to learn more about what to do with the tail of your do rag. But this is a good way to tie your do rag, so it don't come off when you sleep. All right. You can tie it this way, but just don't tie it so hard. We don't want to do that. Another tip that you can do to prevent your durag from coming off while you're sleeping is instead of using a cotton pillowcase, right here I have a cotton pillowcase. Use a uh, you can use a silk pillowcase. Yep. Silk pillowcases are very popular in the curly hair community because they slide against your hair and they don't create too much friction. So getting a silk pillowcase will definitely uh, make, you know, rubbing your I head use. against the pillow a, a lot pillow smoother case. so your do-rag doesn't come off. And the last tip that I have for you guys is since you have your do-rag tied like this, you don't just want to pull the do-rag off to get it off because that is going to mess up your 360 wave pattern. What you want to do is you want to you want to unknot everything one by one. So take out this knot bring it to the front and then you simply want to take off your do-rag like yeah look look y'all see what I'm talking about you simply want to take off your do you see what I'm talking about look look at that line already you see what I'm talking about that's why you don't tie it so hard we're not trying to get waves on the forehead we're getting it on top so put your do-rag on barely wrap it around barely do a little pull and then tie it. Not so hard, bro. Cause look, now you got a whole line right here on your down your forehead. You feel me? Now you got all this part. It looks like a bruise. You know what I'm saying? Because of that do rag. It's all dark because of that do rag. You feel me? Don't tie it so hard, bro. I never tie my do rag so hard. You feel me? I used to, and then it created a line. Y'all see that line? You see what I'm saying? So try not to do it. Cause that line is so ugly you feel me but do rag like that if you just rip off your do rag since this way of tying your do rag is look it pushed back his whole look everything's all pushed back you, you see how it's pushed back because it's on super tight everything's pushed back you feel me so secure you will risk messing up your wave pattern but that's pretty much how you tie your do rag just to make sure it doesn't fall off your head if you guys want to learn more tips and tricks and just to learn more about 360 waves make sure to head over to my website to cop my 360 wave guides shout out to everybody that purchased already i really appreciate it and with that being said thank you you guys so much for watching today make sure to hit the thumbs up button make sure to subscribe yes, and sir. i'll see you guys in the next one hey this is a good video right here on how to tie your waves, all right? So when you wake up, it don't come off. Just don't tie it so hard to the point to where it lines, it leaves that line. You don't want to do that. You know what I'm saying? Everything else is cool. Just not so hard. You know what I'm saying? Good video, though.